Thank you, Dave. Thank you. I am Lance Banks, internal power mentor and founder of the Lance Life Comprehensive Total Life System. But enough about me. Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Here's how it works. This is you. And this is business. You need to get down to business. Otherwise, you're just going up. Up to where? Up to nothing. And if you keep going before you know it, you'll be up to no good. Are you guys up to no good? No? No? Then what are you up to? Nothing. Nothing? Sounds no good to me. So let's all get down. Down to where? Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. So how do you get down to business? Well, it's easy. The answer is right here. The Lance Life Let's Get Down to Business. Let's get down to business. Card. This baby is a one-way ticket to success, Bill. Population, you. And the S's in success, Bill, guys, spelled with dollar signs. <laughs> Let's take a quick look at the front side of the card. Here, you'll find all the information you need to become an exclusive member or friend of my personal Facebook page. You'll join the elite company of Borak Obama, Mitt Romney, Tom Cruise, Jessica Simpson, Brian Gosling, Kate Gosling, Tigger Woods, and many, many other famous celebrities. Now let's take a quick look at the back side of the card. Here, you'll find small boxes numbered 1 to 108. Now, each time you present this card at a Lance Life event, my personal assistant, Dave, will hole punch one of those numbers right out. Yeah. Yeah. Say hi to the audience, Dave. Hi to the audience, Dave. Isn't he great? Yes, he is. Now, after you've had all 108 holes punched out of the card, you'll get in to the 109th Lance Life event for $1 off the regular price. But wait a minute, Lance Banks. After I have all 108 holes punched out of the card, there won't be anything left of it. Exactly. After you've attended 108 Lance Life events, one dollar won't matter to you anymore, okay? You guys will have so much stinking money, one thousand dollars won't matter to you anymore. You'll be in Successville, and there'll be no turning back. But wait a minute, Lance Banks. After the Lance Life, let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Card is gone. How will I remember to let's get down let's to business? Get down to business. Without some sort of memory device brainwashing me to let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Good question. I'm really glad you guys asked that. I'm not usually a fan of brainwashing, okay? But I gotta tell you guys, if your brain is dirty, it might need a little washing. Let's get it down to business. You see, if you need something, to never forget the time you didn't remember to remind yourself, you'll neglect to recollect the very nature of memory. You know what? Write that down. If you need something to never forget the time you didn't remember to remind yourself, you'll neglect to recollect the very nature of memory. Make sense? Good. Because it does. Now, I want you to take the piece of paper you wrote that down on, <laughs> and I want you to just tear it in half, okay? Now, I want you to take those two halves and throw them away. Because the most cherished memory in your whole entire comprehensive total life doesn't come from a piece of paper, okay, with writing on it. It comes from right here. That's right, sir, the heart. How would you guys like to hear about the most cherished memory in my whole entire comprehensive total life. Yes, you would? Picture this then. An old man is lying in his bed. Kneeling over him is his son, sobbing to himself, struggling to keep it together. 
He knows that this is the last time he'll see his pops alive. But the old man refuses to cry. He's just too proud. At first, the weight of the moment and the threat of tears make eye contact impossible for the son. His pops is the foundation of who he was and all he has become. But that foundation is crumbling. It's been worn down by Father Time. A few moments pass. The son composes himself, steals his mind, and hardens his heart against the wave of emotion that's flooding him. Slowly, the son tilts his head up and looks into the unblinking eyes of his father, whose icy stare reflects a cold, calculated sense of duty. Pops knows his son has a plane to catch, and that if he doesn't make it to that airport on time, there are going to be a bunch of disappointed people in Conference Ruby of the Alamosa, Colorado Double Tree who aren't going to have their lives changed. It's not their fault. They dialed the 1-800 number on the infomercial. They pre-registered online. They did everything right. And the old man will be gosh darn if he's going to roadblock his son from driving them to a brighter future. In this moment, eyes locked, father and son share an unspoken understanding. You guys, there's some things in life that just shouldn't be left unsaid. Pops, I know we respect each other, we admire each other, and we love each other. But we've never expressed that love with a hug. Will you let me hug you just this once before it's too late? Let's get down to business. Let's get down to business. Card? <laughs> I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. That story I just told you about my father on his deathbed, it never really happened. But isn't that lying? No, it's not. I'm incapable of lying, okay? I had a lieectomy and purged the ability to lie from my entire body. When I sleep, I don't even lie down. I sleep upside down on an inversion rack so that gravity can get the blood to my brain and help it to work smarter, not harder, even when I'm resting, which isn't very often. Now, I'm not lying because you see, Pops, the old man in that story, is me. Whoa, right? The most cherished memory in my whole entire comprehensive total life hasn't even happened to me yet. That's because I'm nostalgic for the future. <laughs> Forget your past, okay? Live your present. Memorize your future. What do you guys remember from your future, huh? Do you remember being rich? Well, I'll tell you, there are only two surefire ways of getting rich. Way one, be born rich. Once you're born rich, you stay rich, and you only get richer. Doesn't matter how many times you get caught drunk driving, you'll still be rich. It doesn't matter how bored you look during your sex tape, you'll still be rich. It doesn't matter how bored you look during your sex tape, you'll still be rich. The second surefire way of getting rich, guys, is to remember a future you that is already macheted your path to success. 
let Lance life be your machete. <laughs> Not literally, of course, because the subtropic undergrowth you need to hack away is only figurative. <laughs> but guys, that figurative subtropic undergrowth is literally obstructing your path to a brighter future. <laughs> Are you living in the present? Are you memorizing your future? Are you let's getting down to business? Because guys, if you're holding on to your past, you're not let's getting down to business. You're second guessing yourself right out of business. I never second guess myself, okay? I never even first guess myself. I don't need to. I let's got down to business a long time ago. But I don't remember how or when because all of my memories are from the future. <laughs> Here's what I want you guys to do. I want each and every one of you to take a Lance Life Let's Get Down to Business Let's get down to business card and forget how you got it. I know I'm going to forget ever having given it to you. One thing I do remember, though, is when you're going to Let's Got Down to that business and you're going to Let's Got Down to this business and you're all going to have Let's Got Down to business together, and dedicated your lives to Lance Life. Now that is a future worth memorizing. I'm Lance Banks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you.